It's 6.30 a.m. and we can see land. We're at New Caledonia! So I studied French in high school up to grade 10 and I was actually pretty good at it. But I haven't used it in over 20 years. So as you can imagine, a lot of that knowledge just goes. So, a little bit nervous about the language barrier, but everyone on this ship is kind of in the same boat. Is just lining up to get tickets for the hop on, hop off bus. Caledonia is 1,210 kilometres east of Australia. The population is 278,000, which is less than Tasmania. The main island is Grand Terre. This is where you'll find the capital city, Numea. The island is surrounded by the New Caledonia Barrier Reef. Numea has a population around 100,000 people, which actually makes it pretty comparable to our home of Launceston. This bus just goes around Numea to some of the important places. There's a couple of beaches, uh, the aquarium, which we're really keen to visit, and some shopping places. Caledonia is a special collectivity or overseas territory of France. This means that the citizens have French nationality and they can vote for the President of France. They can even vote for the Parliament of the European Union, despite not actually being in Europe. Table. I just noticed that the driver's on the other side of the road. And we're off. They drive on the same side of the road as the road. I've actually seen a few English words on buildings and signs. I wasn't expecting that. City Centre, stop to be. So we're just past the Cine City, which is like 12 cinemas. Marvel superheroes! <laughs> New Caledonia served as a key location for the Americans during World War II. Their influence is still felt in the country today. Alright, so we've just got off at the aquarium and we've realised that it actually isn't open yet because it's still quite early in the morning. So we're just going to have a look around. Some kind of fruit. Is that off a palm tree? Who knows? We're not in Tasmania anymore, Toto. So check this out. This is one of the interesting things about being in other countries. You get different kind of trees, like yeah, we don't see these in Tassie. Some interesting local flora. For example, the Coca-Cola tree. So we just bought a couple of souvenirs from a local shop. The original inhabitants of New Caledonia are the Kanak people. The name New Caledonia was actually given to these islands by Australia's own Captain James Cook who was the first European to arrive in 1775. The name came from Caledonia in the Scottish Highlands. After missionaries were sent here from both England and France, the French annexed the islands in 1853. Well, we're in the museum now. The Museum of New Caledonia contains the second largest selection of traditional Canuck objects in the world. Ironically, the largest is in Paris.
This is a representation of a traditional hut. The totems around the outside represent the chiefs. Right, so behind me these things are called rooftop spears, but they're not actually weapons, they're actually part of the, the roof of the house. It's actually what keeps the house watertight, the, the hut. So, yeah, I thought that was really interesting. Here is an actual replica of one of the huts. The original history of the Canax is still the subject of archaeological study, but it is believed they are related to the ancient Lapita culture. The most common Canax houses uh, here on Grand Terre and also in the Loyalty Islands. The kids just noticed that uh, this particular boat looks a lot like the ones in the movie Moana. So they reckon this ore dates back to the 19th century. This is bamboo with geometric designs. These are wooden spades. Yams are important in Kanak society because they're a foodstuff and they're also used in ceremonies. This is pottery from Vanuatu, which is very close to New Caledonia. Clear influence from the uh, proximity of Vanuatu to New Caledonia. Uh, these masks behind me were for the inauguration of the Vanuatu uh, Cultural Centre, I think it said and um, they were traditionally worn to ward off evil spirits. This is for making kava, which is a traditional drink made from the roots of the pepper tree. So here's an explanation of the Pacific. So we've got Micronesia up the top, Polynesia to the right, and then Australia is in Melanesia, which is where we are right now in New Caledonia. So these bones are from Nkoshon o Vanuatu, which would mean the pig of Vanuatu. So check out those tusks. Alright, so we've just been in the museum and had a really good time, learned some interesting stuff. And I was surprised to how much in there was actually about Vanuatu, not just New Caledonia. So there's obviously some close ties between the, island, the countries. This, this fish is very camouflaged. This guy's amazing. You'd almost mistake him for some coral, but look, his mouth moves occasionally and his eyes move occasionally. And he is so still. Most fish don't stay still, they swim constantly, but this guy, he's hiding from us. So these are nocturnal fish. The little glow you see is from an organ just beneath the eye of the fish. This is a kind of New Caledonian lobster. They don't look like the crayfish back home in Tassie. Oh, look at them! Aren't they fascinating? They're hiding in the sand. They go in and out and they bob around. Oh, that's so cool. It's hiding. Yeah. Garden eels are actually fish. They live in holes in the sand. Colonies can exceed 100 individuals. They don't even leave their hole to feed. They're pretty scared. That looks like a flathead. But it looks like as big as a person. That's bigger than the ones I used to catch with my dad.
have to get myself in shot just to give you a sense of scale of these fish. They're huge. Here comes a stingray. This is so cool. I'm in another country seeing some really interesting stuff. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> I bet everyone makes that joke. The turtles were amazing. When you look into their eyes, it's like they're seeing into your soul. It's a mermaid detector. So this is how you tell the difference between a mermaid and a dugong. What was your favourite thing about the aquarium, Chloe? You don't know what the blues are seeing if it depends. Yep. My favourites were the turtles and the garden worms. And the, the giant stingray was also pretty cool. So this is Lemon Bay, or Bay de Citron. Lemon Bay. Australians in New Caledonia eating at an American themed restaurant. Lemon Bay features a one kilometre stretch of beach and is a popular spot for families because it is sheltered from winds. We just had the best day in Yamaha. It was just so exciting, my very first experience in another country. And I'm glad it was somewhere like this where they actually had a different language because that just added an extra element to it. Um, the language barrier wasn't so much of an issue. Uh, there was actually more English spoken than I was expecting because the places we went were used to tourists coming in and so they could spot us the minute we walked in. I mean, we've got our cruise lanyards around our necks, we're all wearing Australia t-shirts, we're talking English to each other. but. Um, yeah, it was fun. We, we went to some great places. What interested me was the little things, like, um, you know, the, the traffic lights. Uh, they were distinctly different from those in Australia. Like, the, the pedestrian crossing buttons had their own little miniature kind of traffic light next to the button. Um, just things like that. Like, wherever you go in Australia, there, there's some things that just are, are uniform, like the speed limit signs and, and the, the traffic lights. But, uh, yeah, in another country, things are a little bit different. And it was interesting, all the vehicles driving on the right-hand side of the road, like they do in America. Yeah, an absolutely fantastic time. And we can't wait tomorrow to go to Mare, which is basically, you know, a tropical paradise island. There was a knock at the door just now, and I entered, up, I entered the door, and this um, room service lady with a French accent, ironically, um, said these are with compliments from the cruise director. Um, and I've got... A third chip on the stick, <laughs> chocolate coated strawberries, and oh, just some um, sparkling wine that looks a little bit champagne y. Yep, French wine. We're in, kind of in France. <laughs> that, that was totally unexpected and totally wow. <laughs> Thanks, Jen! <laughs>
something of lime soup. It's got tomato and chicken and things in it. It's Mexican. <laughs> Oh, I hope you really enjoyed the look around New Mia today. Next episode, Mare. Like, comment, and subscribe, and always eat chicken snitzels and drink coffee and have ice cream and yogurt. See you later, punks.